All right, the Honolulu Marathon is coming up on December 9th, and by now, runners should be well into training. Of course, you need to build strength and endurance to conquer the 26.2 mile course and go the distance. Now, people training the marathon, strength training might not be necessarily what's on the top of their minds, but it's very important. I'm here with Clarence over at Kakaku Fitness to find out why this is good if you're thinking about doing the marathon. All right. Well, because we use um, a multitude of muscles when we're running, um, one of the goals is we need to keep those muscles strong. Right? We're utilizing them for the duration of 26.2 miles. So conditioning and stamina and endurance are important, but in order for the muscles to function, they need to be strong enough to sustain that level of pressure or stress um, during the course of a run. Now, Mikey, we want him to go to the distance. So what types of strength training are we going to have him come in here and work on? OK, um, well, for today, we're going to focus more on the lower half, only because that's the primary um, muscle group, uh, the quads, the hamstrings, the glutes, and the calf muscles, because they absorb the, the most amount of pressure, uh, and they're responsible for the most amount of function. All right, Mikey's standing by. We're going to bring him in to get to work. You ready? I guess so. Back at it again. <laughs> Back at it again. It's the team. Right, Let's do it. Marathon time. <laughs> okay, so Tanya, I'm having Mikey do um, a variation of a leg press where he's going wide, pressing through the heels, right? Because that mimics um, the heel hitting the ground once he steps out as he's about to kind of make his ascent forward as he runs. But then I'm also going to have him bring the legs together, pushing through the balls of the foot, because that's where he actually pushes off. Once the heel hits, it goes from the heel to the toe, and that um, repeats the running cycle. How much running do you think he actually should be getting in as we get closer to the marathon? Um, so at some point, he's going to have to be over 20 miles a week. Right now, I have it broken down three days during the week, three to five miles per day. Um, but week by week, we need to bump those numbers up, even if it's by like one mile, just gradually build up and build up so that um, we can increase his mileage. Okay, so Tiny, now I have him uh, supersetting the leg press with a wedge squat. So I, as you can see, his heels are elevated. So what we're doing is we're specifically targeting the lower portion of the quad, the muscle that's right above the knee, um, to also to mimic um, the running motion as well. Because a lot of the driving force, like I stated before, is going to come through pushing all the ball of the foot. Um, we're simulating that through this movement right here. You wouldn't necessarily, like I said, think about this. You just think it's all about getting in the mileage. Right, right. I mean, that is a big part of it. But like I said, the muscles are responsible for the function. So if they break down, even if you're in good shape, um, it's going to really hinder your, your progression and your ability to sustain a full marathon. OK, so next up, we have him doing a box jump. So as he's jumping up, you notice, too, he's not standing upright. OK, he's kind of uh, staying hunkered down or squatting down partially to keep that constant uh, time and attention on the quad, the hamstring, and the glutes. So we're trying to exhaust the muscle uh, and give him a minimal amount of rest. You know, we also want to talk a little bit about nutrition. The diet for a marathon very different from any other type oh, yeah, of competition. So a marathon diet is a uh, Percentage-wise, it favors more of a high carbohydrate intake. Um, now, a lot of the research out there states that it should be 65% carbs, 10% protein, 25% uh, dietary fat. Okay. But for some people, especially someone like Mikey, who just put on a good amount of uh, good amount of muscle, we still need to eat him, uh, feed him in a way where he doesn't lose all that hard-earned muscle. So, I actually changed the numbers a little bit to 50% carbs, 25% protein, and 25% uh, fat. Well, you know on Living 808, we have a lot of food, so we'll make <laughs> sure that we're helping Mikey get through this. We'll right. go the distance, and we're going to check back in, and you're going to help him yeah. get ready for the Honolulu Marathon. Oh, yeah. We're getting close week by week. He needs to be ready. All right, Mikey. High five. That's you guys for breath. Week oh, one man. training. A lot more to come <laughs> with this guy. Yeah, there we go. We get this, bro. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Mikey's been training hard for a number of weeks. Exactly. This is it. A Hana Ho showing the strength is such an important thing. And like a lot of people, he's worried about the knee injury. So go in the distance. We'll have all those tips, and you can still sign up for the marathon.